is called luck, and it is gonna run out. You hear that? With both the remake of The Last of Us Part 1 and the HBO adaptation coming up, the remake being just two days away as this video releases, there'll be a lot of people coming to The Last of Us franchise for the first time. If that's you, then welcome. I hope you enjoy it, and you should definitely subscribe to this channel for your fill of The Last of Us related content. For starters, let's talk about how the world of The Last of Us came to be, and why there's mushroom zombies running about everywhere. <laughs> On 26th of September 2013, the Cordyceps brain infection reached critical mass. That day's edition of the Texas Herald reported that admittance to hospitals in the local area had spiked 300% due to a mysterious infection. A subsequent article in the same paper stated that The Food and Drug Administration's investigation of crops potentially tainted with mould continues across the country. Initial lists distributed to vendors nationwide warned against crops imported from South America, but now the scope is extended to include Central America and Mexico. Several companies have already voluntarily recalled their food products from the shelves. The imported crops contained a mutated strain of the Cordyceps. Cordyceps is a genus of fungi that includes around 600 species. However, they're known for two things, turning insects into zombies and being used for alternative medicine. I can't seem to get it up. Oh, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Let me introduce you to Mr. Cordyceps. The mutated strain is parasitic on humans in the same way the standard species are on the likes of ants and wasps. Its mycelium invade and replace the tissue of its host with a fruit body called ascocarp, which break off into fragments to release infective ascospores, spreading the fungus to more hosts. Because the spores spread most effectively in enclosed spaces rather than in the open air, the big cities were affected before the countryside and smaller towns. However, because many of those who worked in the city commuted, smaller communities weren't safe. The spread of the infection led to mass panic. There was gridlock as people fled their homes, and chaos in the streets as people tried desperately to get to safety, whilst being assailed by the infected. Austin, Texas was quarantined by the military on the 27th of September. Over days and weeks, the apocalypse spread. Schools in Lincoln, Massachusetts are closed on the 4th of October. The citizens were rounded up and sent to the Boston Quarantine Zone on the 17th of October. By sometime in early 2014, the World Health Organization estimated that 60% of the world's population, some 4.2 billion people, were either dead or infected as a result of the Cordyceps brain infection. In humans, there are four stages of infection. During stage one, the host loses higher brain function within two days of infection, becoming hyper-aggressive as a result. These fast, frantic creatures are referred to by survivors as runners. It may be that the infection can be stopped before it reaches the brain. When Captain Reagan Francis discovered that Private Eugene Ellis was bitten, he decided not to immediately kill him and instead amputated the arm on which he received the bite. The effectiveness of this was never proven. Ellis feared Francis would kill him and so shot her and later himself died from bleeding out in an air duct after escaping the infected. She would have shot me. I'm sure of it. Then why'd she keep you alive all this time, Ellis? Huh? It doesn't matter. I shot her. I ran away. I fought and escaped those fucking things. And in the process, <laughs> the sutures on my goddamn stump ripped open. <sighs> I'm bleeding to death, and I can't sew it back up. Not with one arm. I can't make the fucking knot. <clears throat> It takes two weeks for stage two of the infection to take hold. Fungal growth over the head corrupts the visual cortex, though at this point they can still see. They are agile and animalistic, known as stalkers because they will hide and ambush victims, though they are very strong and aggressive up close. Stage three of the infection takes a year or more to emerge. In this stage, the infection fully scars the host's face and blinds them. They develop a primitive echolocation to compensate, which they use through clicking sounds, which earn them the name clickers. The final stage of infection, both the rarest and the most dangerous to encounter, is the bloater. By the time the infection spreads this far, the fungal fruiting covers the entire body and effectively serves as armour. This allows them to withstand weapons such as shotguns which will take down other infected in a single hit. Bloaters are strong and aggressive, attacking humans both by bull rushing them and beating them in order to pull apart the face if they get close enough, and by throwing sacks of acid spores which explode on impact. For both of these reasons, it is strongly recommended to keep your distance if faced with one of these infected. Thankfully, the fact that an infected host has to survive for around a decade to reach this point makes them quite rare. 
On the other hand, the long process to reach this point allows for deviations in the host's evolution, such as shamblers which are something halfway between a clicker and a bloater, and other creatures which you should pray that you never encounter. Despite the risks the infected pose, however, there are as many or more risks to human life from those who are uninfected. In the United States, the military imposes brutal martial law on a dwindling number of quarantine zones. Where they have been overthrown, the new regime is often less disciplined and more violent than the old. We know only of a handful of areas where people can live safely and in harmony. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a like and consider subscribing to keep up to date with all my content. Like the video that's just popped up, which YouTube thinks you should watch next. Check out the link in the description to my Patreon to support the channel directly and get perks like shoutouts and early access to videos. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.